Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of multiple regression. In this video I will be continuing from the last part where I stopped. Uh, in the last video I have just told you and shown you the output related to um, the three independent variables and in this video I will be taking the um, output for the six independent variable and what will happen if we have more number of uh, independent variable to predict the uh, you can say the model and um, if you see linear regression here I'll reset and select job satisfaction as the dependent one and rest of all the factors all six will come here and go for analysis now in this uh, I wanted to show you that the R value or you can say correlation coefficient which is the quality of uh, prediction for the dependent variable have increased do you remember in my last video I have shown you that when we go for the three variables the output was this see three job related freedom colleagues feedback and unsupportive boss the R value was only 0.466 now this value has increase so what does it mean it means that the model improves when you include the number of independent variables or the predictors um, for job satisfaction when you include more variables the model becomes more predictive it is having more capacity to predict the dependent variable which is job satisfaction second variable is r square which which means the coefficient of uh, determination which shows the proportion of variance that can be explained by all the independent variable for the dependent variable like here we have six one two three four five six so all six independent variables are able to explain 58.9% uh, of variance in the job satisfaction so in the last model when I used only three variables it was able to explain only 21.7% so it has improved when I include more number of uh, independent variables to explain my model is improving and this is adjusted uh, R square and error value now when we come to ANOVA table same like uh, last video um, I explain here also I'll tell you that this model is significant which means all together all the values all the independent variables are significantly contributing in the prediction of independent uh, in the prediction of sorry the dependent variable which is the job satisfaction so this model is significant the value is highly significant now one more thing I would like to tell you in the model when you include more independent variables the significant uh, you know behavior can also change in my last uh, video you have seen that the importance of unsupportive boss was highly significant when we talk about the unsupportive boss it was highly significant means if your boss is not supportive it have a negative impact on the job satisfaction and it is highly significant but in this model when we include more number of variables you will see that the unsupportive boss this value have become insignificant which means it's a very important finding in the research that when you include the other independent variables like the uh, customer rejection rate uh, stress level stress is highly significant and it negatively impacts um, the uh, behavior of independent variables may change so in relation individually they might have significant impact or with some uh, small number of uh, you can see uh, the variables it might have a significant impact when, but when you have more number of uh, variables it might go for insignificant impact like if I say 
the uh, um, the salary is highly significant and the uh, related perks are also significant but when we talk about the uh, um, work environment if i have only two variables to predict the job satisfaction one is the salary and the second is perks or uh, extra benefit you will find that most of the people they will say both are significantly important to predict the uh, job satisfaction that's fine but if i include one more uh, variable which is related to the work environment or the uh, um, the supporting staff if work environment is very bad the um, extra perks uh, becomes insignificant um, especially i have come across with some of the studies talking about uh, the uh, women's work environment or the women's employees working in a uh, women's um, employees um, job satisfaction in an organization the importance of uh, work environment is really very high individually when you ask about the uh, job um, uh, salaries and the perks you might find that both are significant but as you include the third factor which is uh, work environment if it is not conducive you will find that the perks becomes insignificant so this um, behavior is also very important now uh, as i told you in my last lecture that i'll be talking about uh, the hypothesis um, you can um, write the language of hypothesis like there is no significant impact of uh, independent variable one on dependent variable like in the uh, output we have seen you can make that uh, job related freedom has no significant impact on the um, the job satisfaction here it is being tested that no it is significant okay um, you can even have a um, hypothesis language like it has a positive impact okay so it is accepted here yes it is having job related freedom has a positive impact or you can have uh, stress has a negative and significant impact on the job satisfaction okay you can make one hypothesis like the job related stress or the stress in the job has uh, a negative impact on the job satisfaction and significant impact on the job satisfaction so here we are testing that yes it is having a negative and significant impact so in this way you are uh, testing the hypothesis using the multiple regression analysis by the SPSS software I hope you have uh, liked this video I have tried my level best to make it more simple and straightforward so that you can understand uh, the interpretation of the SS SPSS output for multiple regression as well as testing of the hypothesis. Thank you for watching. If you uh, like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it. Thank you very much.